Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to Econ 1. And I wanted to take this time to go over the structure of this course. We're not going to be going over any content in this video. I just want to let you know how we're going to organize this uh, course on a week to week basis. This is an online course and it's only eight weeks long. So things move rather fast. So um, I just want to get you up to speed quickly. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start with the course out um, here in the syllabus. And I want to just scroll down to the outline of the course week by week. That's down right here. And you can see here we have eight sessions and I've listed the due dates for each week. And they're all the same in terms of they're, they all fall on Sunday with the exception of the final week. And I have a little asterisk here. It's not on a Sunday, a Sunday, it's on a Saturday, but everything else is on a Sunday. And uh, there's, oh, there's something you should do before or on Sunday. So let's go to the class site and look at that. So I'm now at the class site and I'm going to scroll down to week one. And you could see here, or topic one, I, and you could see here, let me just uh, make it go into a student view here. A student here, so it looks a little more cl clean for you. Okay, so topic one. You can see what I've done here is I have an introduction to this particular topic I want you to look at, and then I list the the chapters we're going to be reading in our book. And I have PowerPoint slides related to these chapters. Now, this is what you need to do first. After you've done the reading, you can go on to the assignments, and the assignments which are, again, are due on Sundays, um, fall into one of three categories. One category is what we call video questions. You click on this link, and you're going to see a video. And what you do is you watch the video, and you are going to uh, be asked one question on this video. And so I, I, I didn't design these questions to be tricky. I just designed them so you need to watch them with some level of scrutiny. And, and this is for credit. So you watch it, you answer the question, then you hit submit. But one key thing here, after you hit submit, let's say you select this and you hit submit, there is another button that says continue. You have to hit continue in order to receive credit. So again, I will repeat. When you get to this question, watch the video, answer your, uh, choose your option, hit submit, and then after you hit submit, you have to hit continue. And these are all for credit. Now, so you've answered, watched and answered these video questions. Then there is a quiz on each chapter. And the quizzes are 10 questions long and they're not timed. So in other words, you could start and stop these quizzes um, as long as you uh, finish it before the due date, before Sunday. So for example, let's say you answer your question, you, you, you complete the quiz, and then you want to change your answer. You can change your answer as long as you change it before the uh, due date. So they're not timed, and they are um, 10 questions. Now, what you don't see here in week one is I, for some weeks, I have, a, I have a discussion thread. For example, you can see on week two, under discussion forum, this two is due on Sunday, but I just don't have a discussion forum for every week. So um, just look at the, um, the topic, answer your question, answer the topic thoroughly, and please do it well before Sunday. Uh, a lot of students like to answer or respond to the discussion forums right before the deadline on Sunday night. And that's not very um, helpful to the class because most people don't read the posts when they're post posted so close to a deadline. So please uh, uh, engage the forum, the, the, the discussion threads well before the Sunday deadline. Okay. Now, uh, one other, uh, comment on assignments. Um, you have to submit your assignments on time. 
Um, the only exceptions are for medical and family emergencies. And even then, you have to alert me uh, to this before the deadline or very soon after. So there are very few exceptions to this. So please, please, please submit your work on time. There is no credit for uh, late work. Uh, one thing you should note that the last quiz on week eight is going to be an extra credit quiz. So see this quiz eight right here? That's going to be extra credit. So if you uh, do miss an assignment, you can make it up with that extra credit assignment. Okay. So if you have any questions, please email me. And when you email me, please include in your subject line your class. So you would include in the subject line Econ 1. So I know which class you are in because I'm teaching more than one class for GGU. And it really helps me if you let me know which class you're in. So if you're asking a question about a quiz, let me know which class, Econ 1, which week, and which quiz. And that will be a big help. Okay? I look forward to interacting with you um, this term.